Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. Alright guys, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you the basics on putting together movie credits that go below the title. These are essential for major one sheets, especially if you're involved in a major budget production that uh, is going to be marketed and shown theatrically. Generally, you want it on everything except for maybe teaser posters. So in this tutorial, this is much more of a design aspect of things rather than how to use Photoshop. There's only like one thing that I'm going to show you that Photoshop does to make this a little easier and it's nothing you don't already know. So before you do anything, you want to go to Google and type in movie poster font. And there are tons and tons that all look the same or very similar. It's very difficult to find the actual font, but I found this one. It was called movie poster and it works just fine. So we're going to throw in our text box, make it a little lower because we don't want it to be overshadowing the title, of course. Make sure your foreground color is white. And we'll make sure this the font stays at 50 points for now. These change depending on how big your poster is and how big you want the credits to be, how many credits there are going to be, etc. So you start by typing in the necessary names. Start with the production company. So in this case, his company's name is Sonic Resonance Productions, so I put a Sonic Resonance Production. But as you can tell, this font is way too small, so I'm gonna bring it up to 75. And later on, I'm gonna make certain parts of it even bigger. But don't worry about that for now. Next, we want to put in a film by Zero Kazama or a Zero Kazama film. Whichever one is up to you, it really depends on what your preference is, but those are the two main choices. I usually like a Zero Kazama film because it sounds like it's owned by him. Next, you put in the cast, and this goes by top build or your lead. So the first is obviously Zero Kazama. Then there's Robbie Corbett. Then there's Corey DeMeyers. And then eventually, Tomiko will show up. Then finally, after the cast, you put in a quotation mark and type the name of the movie. Now press Enter. We're going to go down one. And we're going to put in the key crew. Generally, you go in a certain order and you name them based on importance. This is a little confusing because the first one isn't the least important. Generally, I name the casting director first. Angela Preston. Then I name the production designer or people involved in production design. If the movie is very costume or production heavy, you make sure you mention these people, especially if there is makeup effects involved. For this is a zombie film, so I'm definitely going to name a makeup artist. Like I said, name it in, in order of importance. So it would be makeup artist, costume designer, and then finally production designer, because the production designer oversees all design elements. In this case, Makeup effects went after production design because it is a more important name, Stan Winston. Now, Stan Winston doesn't work anymore because he has passed on, God rest his soul. But if Stan Winston were on this, he would be after the production designer because he is a higher build crew member. This is different than the cast, which would go most important first, least important last. It's different with crew. Director of photography and editor should always be here. It's really up to you on what order these two go in. And then next I'm going to name visual effects because the movie is very visual effects heavy. And then finally you name the writer and then the director. In this case the writer director is the same person. So you say written and directed by Zero Kazama. Now, generally, you can have written and directed by Zero Kazama standing on its own. 
or you can have it as part of the credits. It's really up to you. The other thing you can do is you can have a Zero Kazama film on the upper left or right hand corner above the freezer burn title. You see this a lot in movies as well. But it's really up to you. And it also really depends on the marketing and producers that want to see certain things. So if the director is really noteworthy, then usually it's going to have his name above the title of the poster. Another thing that you need to know is as you're writing this, do not add colons, commas, or periods anywhere. You never see these in movie poster credits, and if you add them yourself, you'll just look like an amateur. Now the next step is to make certain parts of the font larger than others, specifically the names. So you highlight one of the names, then you go up to the font size and you make it twice as big. So 150 points in this case. Obviously it's a little too big, so we'll change it to 100. Then that's good. Generally you want it to be noticeably larger than the rest of the font. So I'm going to do this with the rest of the names. So what you're noticing here is that these credits are a little too big. And the reason why this is, is the font sizing in between the areas is by default a little too wide. So what I'm going to do is rewrite this in separate text boxes and then put them all together as separate elements. And there we go. I also added a drop shadow with zero distance and about five or six pixels spread so the text would stand out much more. You want to make sure that you do that so you can easily see the text when it comes to the credits. And that's pretty much all there is to it. The last piece of advice I can give you is to try and find a way to add these credits in a cool way. And like I said, if it's a teaser poster, just don't bother with the credits. The poster looks pretty much done, but we have one more person to add, and she will have a couple lessons on different effects you can do for her. But otherwise, all we have to do is bring in our client to give us some constructive criticism. Hopefully he isn't too hard on it. I'm not really getting paid much for this. Stupid, cheap people. Uh, well, anyways, that's it for the video. In the next few, I'm going to go over a few final techniques, and then we'll bring our poster series to a close.